Hey y'all everybody. Hope everybody's healthy, happy, and well. I guess you're wondering about the uh, thumbnail you saw. Well, yeah, I fell. And I wanted to tell y'all about it. And I'll uh, tell y'all a few things that I did and a few things I found out and all. Hey, before we get into that though, let's roll that intro please. Alright, yeah, I fell. I fell, if you're watching the Bay St. Louis, number one Bay St. Louis video, uh, yeah, that's that's the one that I fell on, and I didn't put it on the camera. I wanted to save that to come back. In fact, I went back and did like uh, Bob Ross. I, I painted a happy little ending because it was at the ending that I fell. Right where I was going to sign off with you guys and say, hey, you know whatever like and subscribe and all right there where I was gonna sign off that's where I fell and instead of you know uh, showing that I went back later and I just uh, redid that ending there in that same location I just tried to do it a little more carefully than what I did before where I fell and so yeah I pulled the Bob Ross and I painted a happy little ending there but Really and truly what I wanted to bring out and I wanted to save that that fall video for this video Where we can maybe bring out some things to y'all about just about the time you think you got everything Lined up and all your ducks are in a row Riding these e-bikes you know, just show you how quickly things can turn s south on you uh, Yeah, and it turns south on me really quick and in a place where I never would have thought that I would have failed. It was at the boat dock where, where people back their, or slip, they rather, where people back their boats down in the water to launch them. And there was some guy fishing around there, and there's a guy in an old uh, white Lincoln Continental sitting there. Y'all saw the second version, <laughs> but whenever I passed him by the first time, he hollered at me just being nice and polite he wanted to look at the bike and i may be i may have turned my head just for a second like that to watch you know or see what he was doing and whatever that didn't have anything to do with me falling what i did is they there was they they go in there and they put this limestone all over the parking lot to try to make it smooth it may have been all concrete at one time and it got some of it got busted out the storm you know may have washed some of it away Hurricane Katrina or whatever I don't know about that but I know what I got into was what we call marbles it was where this limestone had somebody had went in there and done donuts in a car and they slung gravel all over this concrete or patches of concrete you, you look on the video so here's what we're gonna do. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the one that I showed y'all again, just a few minutes of it, okay? Okay, so roll that, the happy ending video. All right, now that y'all have seen that, now let's roll what really happened. What about it there, seagulls? How y'all doing? Yeah, I'm good. Come on, let's grab a rock. Yep, it just remembers rock slip. Yeah, you got it? Yes, sir, thank you. All right, you up. I got one of these. Do you? Yeah, it's a little, it's about, it's about that high. You all right? Yeah, I just tore my arm up. Let's roll it in slow motion.
I didn't fall. I busted my butt. That's what I did. Uh, talk about the damage first, okay? Uh, put a picture right here of what happened to my arm. It was like um, it was like you took a skill saw blade. I don't have one here handy. A skill saw blade and drug that thing down my arm. But how it happened? I wanted to show y'all how it happened. We went through that. The marbles where the car had been in there spinning, and there was some loose gravel there. So that's what happened. Wouldn't have mattered what kind of bike I was in. I, I could have been riding uh, a swing, 40 pounds swing or 30 pounds swing, whatever. Wouldn't have mattered. But the, the reality is it happened. And what I'm trying to say to y'all is, it's just about time you think you got your ride figured out and that everything's going your way. That's when disaster can hit. And you better be ready for what you're going to do, how, how you're going to handle it. Uh, Russ talked about falling. I'll uh, find a soft place to fall. I, you know, I wish I would have had a soft place to fall, but I didn't. I fell right in that right in that limestone. Didn't I know other way to around it? Uh, no other way to do it. I didn't have nair band aid, but I didn't need a band aid. I needed a towel of some kind to wrap around my arm. I didn't have anything. I didn't have toilet paper. I didn't have paper towel. I didn't have Gauze, I didn't have nothing. But I will from here on out. I guarantee I you. I call that. this one this clip, I call the look at me clip. Okay. I'm riding down the beach and I encounter this bunch of girls riding bikes, um, e bikes, I think. And they riding along with there, and this girl's looking over at a mansion over there off the beach there called Pearl Rivers. That Pearl Rivers was the pen name for Eliza Jane Pointer, Point of it, who Picayune was named after, okay? But she was right along there looking at that old plantation and she was looking like that coming right at me. And I'm on my side of the, the, the path. I couldn't even think to hit my bell quick enough. I, all I could say was, look at me, look at me. So we're gonna roll that clip right here. There's an e-bike. Look out, look at me, lady. Look at me. <laughs> that would have been bad. She's looking at that old house up in there. Yeah, that was look at me, the look at me clip. So that's a, I mean, that's something that we have, we don't even have in our control is what other people are doing. Yeah, you got to get run over by other riders right along there looking off. And police work we used to call it defensive driving you know and you still have to I still have to do that today and and being a civilian I have to do some defensive defensive driving well let's do some defensive driving on these bikes too put a first aid kit if you don't have one put one on it at least some band-aids something to mop up blood with I hope it's been a I hope it's been a uh eye awakening uh, experience for y'all watching this video hey we'll catch y'all on the next one hopefully it won't be about falling now i got another i got another uh video coming on bay st louis and you when you watch it then you'll know i didn't do a whole lot of talking on it i just didn't feel like it there you go but it was too pretty bay st louis a beautiful place riding down that beach and those old beautiful homes and all it's too pretty not to show y'all so and i got another some more videos coming up on picayune oh man they are beautiful yeah old bob ross he painted y'all a a happy little ending for that video so y'all didn't see me fall but it wasn't that i was trying to hide it from y'all i was gonna come back and show it on this video and let try to try to tie all that together somehow to show you that falls can happen just when you think they're not gonna happen Hey, like and subscribe if you will, and if you don't, we appreciate y'all watching anyway. That's old Rip One Outdoors out for today. Kind of cool outside, that's why I'm sitting here in this flannel shirt. <laughs> Bye, y'all.